Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is a great honor for me and pleasure for me to be here amongst all of you, my friends, for I have returned to um, to speak with you for a bit. As some of you may realize, I am Carl, and it is a honor for me to know and to be here and to acknowledge that the work that I established and worked so hard to uh, present is being continued. It warms my heart and it, and it, it, it's, it is so good for my soul to, to be remembered by all of you and to uh, be acknowledged by all of you. I do not wish to dwell on the past, but I wish to share with you what is happening as far as the uh, world that I now live in. Because it, while I taught so much about the world of spirit, to actually experience it and to live in it, I have found that it is a bit different than I expected in some ways. Uh, people have the capacity to create whatever they want on this on this dimensions and these dimensions I should say because there as I used to teach the, the work spirit world is of many many dimensions and you arrive at the one that you prepare on your side as you understand but once you arrive into the level that you are have attained it is uh, it is very different uh, because you can choose what you wish to do. I have been involved with continuing teaching people about the gifts of the Spirit and how it is a, we are able to communicate with our loved ones back in the physical world. I have now been teaching people how to uh, come to mediums and what information they are looking for in order to prove their identity to the ones in the physical, and so they can be recognized and acknowledged, and to prove that, yes, life continues after the change called death. But it is here that you, we are teaching people how to accomplish this communication. Many people are excited by this, and many people just aren't interested. As there are some people who have been brainwashed into their ideologies, and they still remain in that brainwashing and in that mindset and in that, that limited set of, of knowledge. And they are, do, they do not believe that communication between the two worlds can happen. It is, a, uh, it is an impossible task to break their knowledge base, to, to enlighten them, just as it was so difficult when I tried to do it on your dimension. It doesn't change. I thought it would be easier from this side. I thought it would be more evident for people to see that people can communicate back to, to your world. But some people just aren't interested. They create, are content to live their lives that they are creating, and they are not interested in that viewpoint. So it was a bit of an eye-opener for me to find, discover that it is just as hard to teach on this dimension in the spirit world as it was in your dimension. I thought it would be much easier, so it was a surprise to me. That being said, it is still a passion of mine, and I still spend much time coming and visiting people in meetings such as this all across this country, but not mostly in the places of which people knew me and come and watch the work and to uh, watch the mediums develop. It is a, a great satisfaction of mine to be able to work with beginning mediums to, uh, to establish a link uh, and to be able to prove communication. It is a kind of a coach, as you might say. I can stand by and help the uh, relative who, the spirit relative who wishes to communicate and tell them what to say, tell them to describe themselves and what they did and what they wish to say. And it's that kind, I kind of coach them as to what, what to expect and what to say 
to the medium to get so the medium can repeat it to the person in the physical world. It is exciting work for me, and it is rewarding as it was when I was on the Zerk plane. So I am most honored to be here. It really is uh, uh, very, um, uh, very uh, emotional for me to see that this church is continuing to exist. Because when I was on your plane and I was feeling tired and as my days are winding down, I was, did not envision that this place could continue. I had kind of did all I could and given all I had. And I really had this burning desire to go back to my home of the South. And I would wanted it to continue, but I, at that point, didn't have the, continue to, the energy to continue to plant the seeds and to start it down, down South. So it was a great pleasure to have it um, reestablished re and to have it grow here in the North again and to be remembered by so many of you so fondly. I wish to say to you that I am most grateful for the thoughts and the uh, prayers that are said to me now and again and the remembrances of me because it makes me feel that what I tried so hard to do did not fall on deaf ears and did not, it is being continued and it is most, uh, uh, most gratifying for me to know that I did not live my life in vain. So I thank all of you for continuing to support this church and to support the mediums who come here and to, most importantly, to be continue your education in spirituality and in the gifts of the spirit, to continue your education, to be continued your enlightenment, and to repeat earning and learning and learning and growing so that when it is your time to cast aside your physical body, you will wind up in the higher realms of the world of spirit. And that was always my goal for people to become educated in the gifts of the spirit. So I'm going to leave you at this point with my profound blessings and my humble thanks to all of each and every one of you. My blessings to you. Thank you.